All right, so I'm back again to show you how to figure out gradient from a field map. So the first thing you're going to notice is that there's going to be a question that might say, calculate the gradient between points A and B. So the first thing that you need to be able to identify is the gradient formula, which is on page one in the reference table. Gradient is going to be the change in field value. So field value is just whatever we're measuring on the map divided by the distance between it. So that formula is going to be directly on your reference table. Next up, we got to get the field value. So we're going to do A and B. So A on my map has a value of 62 and B right here looks like it has a value of 50, my alignment right over top of B. So all we do here, the lines here and the elevations on here are in feet. So 62 feet, you always put the bigger value first, minus B, which is 50 feet, divided by the distance. So what we do here is we take a scrap piece of paper, and I'm going to put my paper on top of A and B. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mark off A and I'm going to mark off B. If I come down to my scale, I have a distance scale. You'll notice that my distance scale is smaller than the distance between my points. So what I'm going to do is I line A up with 0 and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mark off where 2 is. I'm going to slide 2 over to zero. This doesn't happen all the time. So that's two plus the other one. Two plus one is three. And that's going to be in miles. So my interval here, my elevation is in feet, while my distance, my linear distance, is in miles. So we determine that to be three miles. Now we're just going to round to the tenths place. 62 minus 50 is 12, so it's 12 feet divided by 3 miles divided by 3. So I get a whole number there of 4. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a point zero after a whole number. And what happens is the top unit comes first, feet divided by the bottom unit of miles. So 4 feet per mile. So every mile that you travel, your elevation is going to change about four feet on that map. So that's kind of how we go through and do gradient. The idea of gradient is a very common calculation that you're going to see on any kind of regents exam or any kind of map. So a lot of times you get these maps, you have multiple characteristics within each one. Gradient's definitely going to be one of them. So hopefully this gives you a hand and gives you a little bit of assistance with gradient. Good luck with that and good luck with your next assessment.